For those who don't know about Banksy, Banksy is a super controversial street artist whose work could be seen all around the world. And there it is. Banks's masterpieces came from the underground of Bristol, where a lot of his work could be seen. Bristol wouldn't be Bristol without Banksy. His distinctive anti-globalist and social edge meets hyper-realistic stencil technique. His style is truly unique. With Banksy, it's all about the context. Where the piece is painted plays a significant role in what the painting is all about. In all honesty, I did not think that this would ever happen, but it did happen. Banksy himself visited Reading and look at this unprecedented, fantastic artwork. People are all over the place, forming queues to take selfies, just looking and admiring this uh, piece of amazing artwork. And we're back in Reading. Why? Well, because Banksy decided to come back to Reading and produce another fantastic graffiti, which is literally right there on that bridge behind me. As you probably know the story about the original graffiti which he produced on the walls of the Reading prison has now been defaced. This is what the graffiti looks like now. The super intricate work which depicted the typewriter has now been defaced. The curious thing is, the next piece was produced with the exact same typewriter. However, it's still unclear whether it was Banksy or not. In my opinion, if it wasn't Banksy, then that's a hell of a talent to hide and not to see before in this very style. But that's just my opinion on the matter. And only days later, this piece appeared under the bridge. Well. The rat's the rat, the art is art. Thank you very much for watching this piece. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel to see more pieces which talk about culture and travel. And until next week, bye-bye.